How does Hollow Knight create its camera movement? Well, one way you can do this in Unity is by setting up a Cinemachine camera. Before I do that though, let's change up the scenery a bit. These assets were created by Zami, with level design by Ridwan Hawk, and as always, you can check out the game in the link below and see the credits. So, the Cinemachine can do a lot of powerful camera effects. First, let's set up the camera so that it follows the player. In my scene, I've made an empty game object called Cameras to store the new camera we're going to create, called a Virtual Camera. Inside this Virtual Camera component, we have a bunch of properties we can add and modify, such as adding noise, which will add some natural camera shake, akin to holding a camera and recording something, the lens ortho size, which dictates how much the camera can see in its field of view in our 2D game, and more. To make our camera follow our player, we can drag the player into the follow property of our Cinemachine virtual camera component. We can also change the offset of the camera as it follows the player in the body property. In the Tracked Object Offset parameter, I set the X to 1, so now it will be a bit ahead of the player. Now this is a very basic setup for the camera, but how do you add additional effects such as the camera switching offsets depending on which direction the player is facing, or the camera shifting the focus on different parts of the level, keeping it from going out of bounds, transitioning between rooms, and so much more? Well, unfortunately I can't cover all of that in these small YouTube shorts. However, there is an amazing video by Sasquatch B Studios that goes over the additional code and components needed to make these features work, which is linked to this video. I highly recommend checking this video out to up your game when it comes to dynamic camera cinematography in 2D games. In the next video, I'll be going over UI and UX details in Unity. But as for now, that's... Yeah.